right, well, welcome guys. This is Brett from FBA Excel. This is the Ad Tactics Autopilot five minute crash course training. If you look over here on the right, you can see a summary of what I'm gonna be covering in this video. We're just gonna quickly download a 30 day bulk file from Seller Central. We're gonna click File Import and get that file into Ad Tactics. We're gonna click one button to kind of sync the new data that we're importing. And then we're gonna hop into the new autopilot feature of Ad Tactics and quickly run that, show you how easy it is. Uh, and then we're just going to create an export file that we can upload back to Amazon. So that's kind of the gist of what we're going to be covering here in the next, well, I got four minutes now, so let's get started. I'm going to assume uh, you've watched the authorization video and have been able to get the menu to display here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just hop up here, click download and import bulk ads file. This is going to take us to Seller Central. You're going to want to make sure you're already logged in. All right, so once that screen loads, you just want to make sure you've checked everything appropriately. So I'm going to actually check campaign items with zero impressions. Don't actually need brand asset data for this example, um, but I'm going to make sure I don't have those two things checked. I'm going to hit create spreadsheet for download and you'll see it's going to create the spreadsheet. It could take a couple minutes, uh, but once it downloads, you're just going to click this little download button and just save it to where you know you can get it. Uh, you can put it on your desktop or wherever. We're just going to need to uh, kind of know where it is. So once that has downloaded, I'm actually just going to come back in to Ad Tactics and I'm going to click File Import. If you didn't save it into a Google Drive account, you can click on Upload and grab it from your local computer. All right, so here's my test file. Just double click on that guy and you're going to click Insert New Sheet, Import Data, and just give it a second here. All right, so once that imports, you should see the portfolios and your sponsor products, brands, and display tabs there at the bottom. Um, what you're going to want to do now is just head up and click sync all under the import menu. All right, so that little setup operation will take 20 or 30 seconds or so. Uh, but once it's done, you're good to go. Just hit OK. Now we are ready to go. So Ad Tactics can obviously do a lot of things. You can build campaigns in bulk. You can bulk negate poor performers. Uh, you can harvest new search terms. But in this video, we're going to be focused on the newest feature, which is the Ad Tactics Autopilot, which is a bid optimization and automation dashboard, essentially, that you can build out your own rule sequences and just run all of the rules with one click. So it's really powerful for optimizing your bids. So here you can kind of get a high level view of uh, the Ad Tactics Autopilot dashboard with some pre built in rules here. You can tweak these and change them as needed. Uh, but essentially, the way it works is each row is a unique rule. And the way that the sequence runs is the top row is going to run first, then the second row, then the third row, so on and so forth. So, uh, to kind of illustrate this, we've got our three bulk files here for our, our three ad types down here at the bottom. We've got these rules here that, again, you can modify these, you can add them, you can remove them. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and just turn some of these on so you can see how this system works. All right, so these top nine is kind of the sequence that I'm going to want to operate. And you'll see it's as simple as once you've defined your rules, you've input the PPC bid criteria. And if you hover over the headers here, you can get a description of what each thing does. Pretty self-explanatory though. I mean, all of the PPC metrics here, you assign your rules and your thresholds based on the PPC metrics. But I think the easiest way to learn how this works is to just run through an example. So I'm just gonna click this blue button here. And what you're gonna see is a little prompt, just hit yes. And once you get this prompt, you can hit okay. And you'll see the dashboard updates with the results. So if I want to see which three targets were changed in my sponsored products file, it's really easy. I can just hop over to my sponsored products sheet and you'll see a new column kind of slides out called bid rule. I'm just going to click on this filter and I'm going to click on clear and I'm going to select rule number one, hit OK. And you'll see that all of these were in fact changed to pause. That was the rule action that that one was uh, doing and it was based on the impressions and the click-through rate which you see over here in these columns so the whole idea is we're using this autopilot grid to build out a very logical sequence to optimize our bids by and you can use operators like the and symbol here uh, just just super powerful uh, functionality in this new tool and once you've got this built out it becomes really easy to just keep running through your bulk files uh, each week and just execute this same sequence or you can tweak it as you go. But over time, it's obviously gonna optimize your bids based on the criteria you specify. And once you have ran this, all you need to do to create an export file to upload back to Amazon is hop up here to the optimize menu. Now there are a few things that Bulk Sheets doesn't support. So if you have 
the campaign level negatives or uh, expanded ASIN targeting in your sponsor products, that's what the SP means, or you have any drafts or negatives in your sponsor brand's bulk file, all you need to do before you create your output file is just click these scripts and it'll automatically remove those rows. Create the, the final output file, I'm just gonna do the sponsor products here, for example, you're just gonna click this button here and it's gonna run through a quick script and it's actually gonna save your sheet to a folder in your Google Drive that got created when you authorized it called FBA export files. Uh, so it's gonna be really easy to just go and grab that and then we can upload it to Amazon. And then from your Google Drive that you have that tactic stored in, the FBA Excel tools folder got created and then the export files folder got created. This is the one that's gonna have the output file in it. So I'm just gonna double click on there to show you where it's at. That's the file we're gonna then upload back uh, by clicking choose file. All right, guys, so hopefully I made it under five minutes. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to us at our support at support at fbxl.io. All right, guys, see ya.